Here I have a whole host of terminal tackle items from pole position. But before we jump into all of this, please take a few seconds to subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. It really does help the channel grow and helps us to bring more content like this to your screens. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you five things you need to know about pole position and their terminal tackle. So who exactly are Pole Position? Because it's all well and good me showing you through the range, but if you haven't heard of the brand or the company before, you may be less inclined to try them out. So let me reassure you, this isn't just an overnight jobby that they've chucked a little terminal tackle onto the shelves. They've been around for close to three decades now. And that's a reminder of how old I'm about to be next year because this company was born in 1994. And it's actually the birth child of Gamakatsu, which is something I'll get onto in a little while, which is to do with these hooks here. Now that's a company that's born from Japan, been around since the 50s, I believe. And they wanted to branch out into Europe. So in 94, they set up a base in Holland. So this is actually a Dutch based company, but they want to now branch out into the UK a bit more as well. So you may have seen lots of these bits and pieces around predominantly in Europe, that it is going to be coming over to the UK much more, which I'll get onto a bit more in a second. So rest assured, this isn't just a random little company. It's a very big one with a lot of backing and a lot of experience and knowledge going into it. Well, as you can see from this rather packed out tackle box, it's less a case of what's in the range and more a case of what isn't in the range because they've catered for everything. Hook link materials, braided, fluoros, snag leaders, all sorts. You've got all different tools as well. Another one up here. You've got ready tied rigs as well. So if you're someone that isn't too keen on tying up your own things, want to get yourself on the bank and get going with rigs that are tested, all the mechanics already done for you, then do take a look at some of the ready tied stuff. We've got things here which are loop to loop so you just put them through some of the ready tied boom sections something like that ready tied rolly rigs you just gotta add your hooks and then put sleeves over your crimping tools pretty much everything is in this range so it's not just an odd thing here an odd thing there there are absolutely stacks within this range Now it seems a bit silly going through all of these items and whittle it down to just a couple of items that stand out to me, but that's what I'm gonna do anyway. First of which being the putty bar. Now it's this little part of the Ronnie rig that I've tied up earlier, all with components that are from this range. That's the ready tied boom with a little swivel on the end. I've added the hook and then put one of the sleeves over one of their hook bait screws and one of the hook beads as well. So full on Ronnie rig tied up there, but on this boom was one of their putty bars. Now what this is, it's already weighted, slightly tungsten, but it's really grippy. It fits onto this sleeve. And as you can see, I can push it up and down and then it goes over the doubled over crimp section. So it fits nice and snug on this Ronnie rig. So it already weighs the rig down ever so slightly, but there's then a recess in the middle of it with a little bit of texture, perfect for adding putty. So whether you've got a big 15 mil pop-up like this, it might need a bit more putty and where you want to add some, there's somewhere for you to put it on and not only put it on, but make it nice and smooth, neat, which some of you, you may not be fussed about making rigs really neat, but if you can be really finessed, I think it makes a difference, even if it's just from my own personal confidence, but it makes it nice and neat and also holds it in position. That putty can't slide off on the cast or anything because it's fused, almost fused within this whole putty bar. So it keeps the putty nice and neat and nice and secure. So that's a nice little addition to the range. And the other item I like is how you add a bit of shot to the bomb of the hook. Now, let me explain a little bit more. This is the item in question. It's the shot on the hook holder. Now, this is something that I've seen loads of times before. The shot on the hook rig It's a way of weighting the point of the hook rather than anywhere else. So when it comes out of the fish's mouth, the first thing that hangs down and drops is that hook. It's a little rubber sort of holder for a shot and it's, it slides on the same way you would with a hook bead or anything like that and it's a little elasticated loop where you can fit your own different weighted shot now for this demonstration purposes so you can see it, i've added quite a big shot there but the principle is the same you can weight the bottom end of the hook so that every time that rig gets hooked up even just demonstrating it here that hook point wants to hang down it doesn't want to sit in any other way and it won't sit in any other way so palm tests whether you like it or not you don't have to believe everything with the palm test, but as soon as you try and pull that across your hand, because the weight is on the front, it's just digging in straight away. So if you think of a fish trying to reject that, and the weight with this rig in particular, it's a blowback rig, that bait will fly out of the back of the hook, and all the weight is still on the front of the hook or on the point of the hook. That's gonna be the thing that's driving down, hooks into the bottom of the fish's mouth. Something you might wanna implement into your fishing if you've never seen that before, if you have seen it before, it's not saying it's anything 
really new in the fishing world, but it's a nice addition to the range. It's something really easy to add it on. And because it's a really soft rubber, it's really safe as well. So once you've hooked a fish, that will easily push around the shank of the hook. It's not like it's going to inhibit the hook hold, because once that fish is hooked and you're playing it, it's going to drive itself around with no issues. So that's another nice little addition. As you can see, we'll run onto the hooks now. It's just dabbed onto my finger and it's sticky sharp. And that is the next thing I want to talk about. Now the hooks are something special. Now going back to point number one about the history of pole position, Gamakatsu is where it all began. And these hooks still bear those names. Now they're just in a different guise. They're in a carp fishing scenario. They've got different patterns. But going back to the origins of Gamakatsu, it's steeped in history. Going back to the 50s, I believe, they are specialists when it comes to hook design, hook development, the materials. I'm no scientist. It may come as a surprise to some of you. So I don't know all the ins and outs. All I know is the end products. Now these hooks I've actually been using for probably about six months or so. I was very fortunate to get my hands on some of these a very long time ago. Back in the winter, I met up with Nout, who is one of the people from Pole Position and everything. And I managed to keep a hand on several different boxes or tins of these hooks. They've caught me countless fish and they are something very special indeed. To start with, just the case. I mean, they're a thing of beauty that they keep them in these nice little metal cases and they're all individually stacked and stored so they don't bash into each other. And when you get them out of the pack or out of the box, shall I say, they are razor sharp every single time. And I know it's hard to get hook sharpness across on camera, but you just dab your finger on it like so. And it's just, it's almost, you might be able to hear that. It's just sticking into my finger. It's just ridiculously sharp from the pack. That's the chod hooks. You've got several different shapes in here. So you've got the chod X, you've got the strongbow, the super snatch, which makes me giggle a little bit, the S type and the snagster, as you can see, is ever slightly thicker gauge for some of those scenarios where you might need something with a bit of more backbone to them. And actually find because they're so sharp, they don't seem to ding very much because they seem to go through the fish's lips so quickly and not get hung up that there's no chance for it to get caught on anything and ding and, and burrow over or whatever. So I've had multiple captures on the same hook before now. And once it's gone, I could try and sharpen it up myself. But I'm never going to get it really as sharp as they come out of the packet. So I just change the hook over, new rig, and you're good to go. So they are really are something special. So do keep an eye out for them and maybe give them a try yourself. So how do you get your hands on all of these pole position goodies? It's nice and simple, www.polepositiontackle.co.uk. They now have a dedicated UK website where you can access all this stuff. So for more information, go over there, check it all out. Don't just take my word for it. Buy some of these bits for yourself. Definitely take a look at the Gamakatsu hooks and you won't regret it. And also I did notice on the website that orders over 40 pound even gives you free shipping as well. So for more information on all these items, much, much more, and maybe pick up some stuff yourself, head over to the website. That's it for me from now. I'm gonna continue putting these hooks to the test where hopefully one of those goes off. I nailed about a one pound roach earlier, which isn't what I'm after, but it hooked it all the same. But that's everything for me for now. Cheers for watching. I'll see you again soon.